Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel with the Fan TV. Back at you another video. Like the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content of this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe. Just past 500 subscribers, man. I want to thank you guys so much. I love doing these videos and you guys' support makes me want to keep going. So thank you for that. Um, if you're new to the channel, uh, you like to hear about football talk, NFL talk, mainly about the Baltimore Ravens, you should hit subscribe as well. We'll have a lot of content coming at you with the season right upon us. Um, and today is no different. So I want to talk about the fact that the Ravens are on the road for the first time this year, right? They're going to Arizona to play the Arizona Cardinals. Don't play them till Sunday, but the guys left today. Uh, they're going to practice in Arizona for a couple of days, not a joint practice or anything like that. Practice against themselves, and then uh, they're going to play the Arizona Cardinals, right? Now, what I want to talk about mainly is we know that the starters are sitting out, the top guys are sitting out, but I want to talk about players that whether it's their first game back or they just need to play better than they did in the last game. Guys that need to show and prove something during this game versus the Cardinals, right? In my opinion, right? Now, uh, two guys on offense, two guys on defense, and we're going to start at the uh, on the offensive side of the ball. We're going to start with Slade Bolden, right? Now, Slade Bolden, wide receiver, Alabama, another one of the UDFA guys, but he's a little different from the guys that the Ravens have been bringing in just because he's more of a slot type of player, you know what I mean? He, had, he isn't big like Makai Polk or Shamar Bridges or somebody like that, but more a shifty slot guy. Now, he got hurt pretty much right before the first game of the preseason, so he wasn't able to participate in that game. But I, he returned to the practice field, and he should be all good to go to play this weekend versus the Cardinals. And when he didn't play, a lot of guys had good games, all right? You know, we know what Shamar Bridges did. Makai Polk had a good game. Um, so, you know, he... He saw himself through entry kind of slide down the depth chart a little bit, right? Now, obviously, for Slade Bowen, I think this is more about making a practice squad spot than being on an active 53-man roster. But either way, he's a guy that he needs to have a good game. And listen, I think he has good feet, good skill sets. And we see a guy like last year, like Hunter Renfro, right? You know, um, not highly touted um, as far as his physical abilities, but came from a big school. You know, Hunter Renfro went to Clemson, Slade Bowen went to Alabama, and they both did... They both did work at big time schools, at big time programs, so that can't be ignored. So we know that they, they can do something on the field. Um, now he just has to kind of put in that same kind of um, that effort on the field versus the Cardinals and get noticed, right? Getting open versus guys on the slot, nickelbacks, and put it out there on the field so the Ravens can say, "Hey, maybe we got something right here on Slade Bolton." So I'm looking forward to see what he can do. All right, first guy on defense, man. This guy was the star of the off season, but since training camp has started, the buzz has cooled down just a little bit. I'm talking about Dalen Hayes. Now, when I say play better, I'm not saying he was bad versus the Titans or anything like that, right? I'm just saying that I want to see a little bit more in the passers department off the edge when Dalen Hayes is in the game. That's all. The Ravens, I want the Ravens to have at least three reliable pass rushes to start the season. We know Ojabo, Bowser, out for at least, you know, I'm going to say for at least the first four to six weeks. They say Tyus Bowser might, might come back by week one, but I think that'll be pushing it in my, in my opinion. So, I'm just going to say the first three to six weeks, those guys are out, right? Now, Oway and Houston, both, uh, Houston's a veteran, always having a great camp, really can't be blocked. That's all the reports come out about Oway. Now, Hayes, that was the talk about Hayes in these um, OTAs, mini camp, that he was just unblockable. He was getting past everybody. He was the star of the show. Now, since training camp has happened, we haven't really heard that same kind of news, that same kind of buzz about Damon Hayes. Now, I think he's supremely talented. I think that he has the capability to rush and drop in coverage, which is, you know, a hard skill set. But with Mike McDonald here, I think he's going to be asked to do a lot more rushing than that, than, than what he was last year. So with that being said, first the Cardinals, you, you probably won't be going against the Cardinals starters. Let's see you do some damage against a backup left tackle, right tackle, and see what you can do out there. Um, the Ravens are going to need a rotation, a rotation of guys to play on, on the edge, right? I think the guys in the middle... As far as the interior defensive line, is pretty set. The outside linebackers still need a little bit of work, in my opinion. Now, last week, Stephen Means got a sack. He got on the board. He had a good game. Um, he played a lot better than I expected him to play, right? I want to see the same thing for Dalen Hayes, right? I think Dalen Hayes is a really good player. Only year two. So, you know, him, him and Odafe came in same year. And I think that they can be the Ravens' pass, uh, a Ravens pass rush duo going forward. Then you throw Ojabo in the mix, and now you got a, a young pass rushing core. But I need to see Dalen Hayes put it on the field first. All right, so that's my challenge for Dalen Hayes. 
All right, second offensive player. That's got to be Jalen Moore, man. Another wide receiver, right? Because, you know, we love to talk about wide receivers here at the Baltimore Ravens, right? Uh, Jalen Moore is another guy. He's kind of been a star of the practices, kind of, right? But when we got to the game versus the Titans, we didn't see as much pop as we were seeing and, and we were hearing about in the practices. So now that that what you're putting on, a, on the practice field, I want to see it on the game field, right? Now, Shamar Bridges, we heard about him doing good in practice mostly, and then we see it in the game. Same thing with a guy like Isaiah Lightly and things like that. Jalen Moore is coming into a point year. It's just like year three for Jalen Moore, right? And with Tylen Wallace being hurt, there's a real chance at wide receiver four for a guy like Jalen Moore if he takes the opportunity. He's been here for, for a while. He knows the system. He knows the team. The coaches are comfortable with him. So they will want a guy that they can trust out there. And that guy can be Jalen Moore. So now I just need him to take that same uh, energy that he's had on the practice field, put it on the game field, and let's see him make some of those big-time catches, big-time plays that like we've seen before. Um, he's another guy with the talent to do it. We just got to see it in the game. That, that That's the main point, right? So it's not to say that these guys have been bad or anything like that, like I said before. Uh, just want to see you guys put it out there on the field in the game, right? Uh, that's only going to help you earn that roster spot, get on the practice squad, whatever. But for Jalen Moore, this is really about getting to the 53 because he has a legitimate shot to get there. All right. Now, last guy I want to talk about back on defense. He just came back from being off the pup list, and that's our Darius Washington, all right? Safety. Uh, I believe this is his second or third year as well. And he's a super talented safety, man. All over the field, he can play safety. He can play nickel. Um, really talented. Uh, just We're just going to call him a defensive back. That's what he is. He's a DB. You know, he can play both spots, you know. Um, really talented. But... The issue was he started this training this training camp session on the pup list and, and missed pretty much the entire training camp um, that was open to the public, at least, up until the last couple of days. So we seen Geno Stone make a play on the field. Tony Jefferson has been playing well. And we know Chuck Clark, Marcus Williams, and Kyle Hamilton are submitted, are pretty much submitted in their spots. So I don't know if the Ravens carry six safeties. And I don't know if they get rid of a guy like Geno Stone. So, uh, Darius Washington, this game versus the Cardinals, I mean, I know he's just coming back, so we'll see how much the Ravens play him. But I know if I was him, I would want to play a lot just to get as many snacks, as many play on, as many plays on the field to prove that I need to be on this team and I, I deserve to be here. Uh, because, he, like I said, he kind of started from behind, you know, and it's not his fault. Injuries happen. It's a part of the game. But um, that injury kind of put him on the back burner. You know, we got to be honest. So I'm looking for a guy like Darius Washington to use that time that he has that 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 blazes speed all over the field to make some standout plays versus the Cardinals. And um, if he can do that, maybe he can fit his way into a 53 man uh, roster spot because that's going to be the goal for him. Because last year he played a little bit already during the season, so just being a practice squad guy that that really shouldn't be his goal. It should be about getting to the 53 for him. And playing well in the preseason games is how he's going to do it. He has two more opportunities to do that. So we'll see if out there is Washington can take advantage of that kind of opportunity. Um, so those are the four guys, like I said. I'm 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 really keying in those guys. I want to see what they do versus uh the Arizona Cardinals. So Slade Bolden, um, Dalen Hayes, Jalen Moore, or Darius Washington. I'm keeping an eye on you guys, man. Uh Raven Flock, give me some guys who you wanna have uh or who you're keeping an eye on to have a good game versus the Cardinals. Um, yeah, we'll talk about it in the comments, man. It's your boy Gabriel, just another fan TV. I'm out.